Yoga comes in many forms. Some like it hot, cold, and even upside down. But did you know there's yoga for your face? It's a popular trend to avoid wrinkles and laugh lines. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. How do these facial exercises work? Could face yoga be the new Botox? This is your body on face yoga. You'd think face yoga is pretty counterintuitive. My grandma always said, never touch your face. We once were told not to smile or make repetitive facial expressions. You need to learn how to cry without moving your forehead. Otherwise, our skin will lose its elasticity. But massaging faces has been a practice that dates back to as long as civilization existed. Even Chinese royalty would use jade rollers to promote circulation and get a wrinkle-free appearance. Facial exercises require little commitment while promising to give your face a smooth and lifted appearance. And they're free. Lucky you. But do they really stretch your facial muscles? Facial aging. Your face muscles are slightly different than your body muscles. While the arm and leg muscles attach to bones and joints, the muscles in your face are connected to each other and to the facial skin. They require smaller contractions to move the skin in any direction. And they're the only muscle group in our body that can respond to emotional rather than physical stimuli. But as time passes by, your skin texture changes and these muscles begin to atrophy. Wrinkled, wrinkled little star. When you raise your brows, the skin on your forehead becomes thinner and doesn't bounce back as fast as when you were younger. We've been turned into old people! Deep wrinkles form at the edges of your eyebrows when you frown. Getting old sucks. Under eye bags appear when the aging muscles around your eyes weaken and cannot support the fat pads around the eyeballs. I also see some gray hair sprouting out. The fat in your cheeks begins to migrate toward the jawline, giving you jowls over time. <gasps> Yikes, okay, where do I sign up? Face yoga techniques. Before your routine, you'll need to apply face oil to help with skin hydration and lessen the effects of pulling and tagging. There are different exercises to help you fight signs of aging. The smile and pout exercise will help you tone your cheeks and firm up the skin around your lips. It's easy. Hold the smile for five seconds and then pout for eight seconds. You might feel like a clown, but trust me, it's worth it. To work on your forehead, place your fingertips above your eyebrows. While raising your eyebrows as high as possible, block the movement for six seconds by pressing downward with your fingertips. If you want to sculpt your jawline, hold your chin with both hands and gently move your hands toward your temples while applying firm pressure. The lion's breath can help you relieve tension in your neck. You'll have to sit and lean forward while putting your hands on your knees or on the floor. Now inhale deeply through your nose. Open your mouth wide and stretch out your tongue toward your chin. Now this is the fun part. Exhale loudly by making a ha sound. <laughs> if you feel silly now, try doing it in a room full of people. To truly get your face in ship shape, repeat these exercises up to 10 times. Consistency and dedication are key if you want results. And namaste. The science. There aren't many studies about the effects of facial exercises on aging. Thinking too much gives you wrinkles. But in 2018, researchers from Northwestern University in Chicago found that the women who participated in a daily 30-minute exercise routine for eight weeks had a significant improvement in their cheek volume. They looked about three years younger than before the study. More clinical research to see whether face yoga is a true anti-aging miracle is still needed. Of course, if you're in a rush to look young, there's always Botox, but it does come with risks. We'll inject into that on another episode of Your Body On.